The fires in the air here in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Perry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Crowd ready to roar in this Western Conference matchup. Jazz looking to please their fans here at home. Now here's Conley. Here's Gobert. And he makes good on the lead. Go Bears got the first points on the scoreboard for Utah. And for those teams that suffered a harsh ending to last season, Greg, what are they feeling here on opening night? I mean, motivated. You, you think about that kind of thing all summer, and the chance for retribution starts now. Here's Curry with the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. You know, sometimes basketball is not all that complicated. Just let Stephen Curry shoot threes and get out of the way. Here's Gobert. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. And Curry, here we go. Gobert with the defensive effort. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but looks like plenty of room. Outside Conley. From outside the arc, nailed from three-point land. And this pumps the whole team up. Conley's shooting ability brings energy and excitement. Curry's shot is good. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. And out of bounds as Utah gains possession. Now that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. Here's Conley driving inside. It's good. Conley's got five. It does a lot for Conley's overall game when he's attacking. He wants to give the D more to worry about than just passing and shooting. Wiseman with a wide open look. Good, and it's Cream picking up the assist. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Well, Draymond Green holding everybody accountable. We've seen this before. Now here's Wiggins, outside Curry. to the inside and it's Wiseman in the corner that's a miss he's made one and missed one here's O'Neal set it up with the fake but it's offline and so often Tremont Green is called the heart of this team well, he's been such a great leader since his time at Michigan State. He's out there barking directions to his offensive players. He's out there barking defensive assignments. He's barking at his coach. <laughs> it just the list goes on. But that energy is infectious and helps lead his team to greater heights. He's been, he's open. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. And Wiseman has shown that kind of potential. A seven-footer that can catch and shoot. Wow. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Jazz.
Central, going with an almost entirely new group. On white side. Rudy Gay. There's a minute 47 left to play in the first. Pass to Ingles. Gay with it, guarded by Green. Green with the block. I like the extension there from Draymond Green reaching out and timing that one. Now, so Greg, we can't take for Grant. It's nice just to see Clay Thompson out on the floor. No doubt, Kevin. You know, the NBA is just a better league with a healthy Clay Thompson. Makes this team more fun to watch. Good for humor and one incredible performance a year. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. And there's an edge to Mitchell's game. He wants to be the guy in charge. And if that means he's got to get physical, he'll do it. And he's good on the three ball. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Pass to Ingles. Here's the three. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. That's his first personal foul. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. And Kevin, how about his basketball journey? Taking him from Australia to Spain, then Israel, before finally landing in the NBA at age 27. But Joe Ingles, boy, was well worth the wait. Now here's Curry. He's got eight, and it's Wiseman in the corner. Warriors the rebound. Warriors got a piece ball. of it. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And two points back to his performance at the line last year, guys. 84% as a free throw shooter. And Mitchell drops them both. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Side curl. With the drive, and the shot goes in. Curry. Curry's got 10. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Here's Whiteside. Left side, Clarkson. That three off the mark. Got it up. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. It's been all about Stephen Curry. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And from what we've seen so far from the Warriors, how would you grade them? Boy, that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. They couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. Pass to Whiteside. Clarkson goes in. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Nice awareness from Whiteside there, understanding where his teammates were on that possession. On its way from Curry for two. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Curry's got four points this quarter. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Pass to Whiteside. Clarkson for three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. So Golden State will take it the other way. Curry with it. Now defended by Mitchell. Green, no luck. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. And Brent, the wrinkle added to the playoff format for 2021. The play-in tournament really became a hot button issue last season. Yeah, it felt like you either were going to love it or you weren't going to like it at all. And I think a lot of people really enjoyed the fact that the last month of the season provided games that had something at stake. And that positioning to get into the 10th slot with an opportunity to get into the playoffs drew the attention of, of NBA fans 
and players uh, to keep competing until the very end of the season to take that shot at getting into the postseason. So I really like it. Here's Curry following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. And Whiteside sends it back. And you consider just how long and how big Whiteside is down there. It's not surprising that shot blocking is something he does well. So you took it, going with an almost entirely new group. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. You gotta feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments, pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. The Warriors making a switch here. On defense, Utah. Trailing by two. Shot clock at six. Golden State needs to get off a shot. The shot by Looney, no good. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. And just, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Stolen by Thompson. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Some nice passing by Golden State. Traps in the tray. Thompson's got seven. Yeah, raise your hand if you're surprised that Clay Thompson racked up three more points. And Brent, you look at the career of Clay Thompson. He's had improvements every step of the way. Yeah, and he's still just an elite shooter that, because of what Steph does, because of Draymond's unselfishness, Clay is going to add 25 points in the blink of an eye. Uh, that, along with his defense, just make that backcourt something special. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Clay Thompson has lost two prime years to a torn ACL and then a ruptured Achilles. He says so many athletes have been through this. It's just a new set of challenges. With my style of play, I feel I can be effective until my late 30s. I plan on being the all-NBA player I was and won't settle for anything less. Guys, that will be a great comfort to this team. Indeed, and who's going to doubt him? I love his attitude. Undaunted. David, thank you. Now, here's Bielitsa. Following the miss by Michael Conley. Just three to shoot. The three. Thompson misses. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Here's Bogdanovich. And how about the awareness of Mitchell? That, that's what stands out to me. He, he has a decision to make and does it with terrific timing. Thompson left side. For Mitchell. And it's Wait, good off the bat good. rim and in. He's got nine. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song. Back and forth. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Here's Looney. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Gobert with the block. And that's why you want Gobert on the floor. He's as good defensively as any big you will ever see. Now here's Wiggins. Gobert with the block. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Six seconds left to play here in the half. Gobert with a wide open look. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. This game is finished. They'll be off to Portland taking on the Trailblazers. Let's it go from deep. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. 
Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another and the threads are keeping them close. This has been the highly Jazz competitive. The and Start. the Jazz call time here. Yeah, and some Something we've seen the last few years, boxing ones thrown at Curry, although they've had mixed success. Jordan Poole. Utah trailing here. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Bogdanovich has got his second basket of the night. And amazing to even consider using a box in one in the NBA, isn't it, Greg? But Curry does that with his offense to the teams that defend him. Kevin, I, I agree. And it, it did work well in the 2019 finals. Curry has started to adjust to that look. Much harder to use when Curry has other options on offense. Mitchell outside. Shot clock at five. Go bear. And Wiseman sends it back. And Green slams it in. The vision Curry has on the floor. We've seen him put those goggles up from time to time. He easily spots a ready shooter that time. And it's Conley penetrating. Back to Bogdanovich. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. After committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. Curry outside. Another three for Golden State. Well, great start. Check that box. They've made their first four shots, guys, and the offense looking very fluid right now. Utah calls timeout as the teams head into this timeout. A chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Some nice passing by Golden State. On deep. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm up. So maybe just a step too far. Now here's Curry following the miss by Hassan Whiteson. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Inside. And contact down the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And an improved free throw shooter compared to his earlier season. Nice to see Gobert attack his weakness. And Gobert drops them both. Now a timeout called by Golden State.
a little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Jazz trailed by four. Well, gravity is very, very real, and Steph Curry has the most of any NBA player right now. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. The assist. <laughs> That's pretty easy stuff from Wiseman if he's that close. Two minutes remaining in the third. Pass to Bogdanovich. Oh, good on the triple. Brent, when you talk about the gravity of Curry, explain what you mean. Well, Kevin, any time that he's on the floor, when he crosses half court, all five defenders are paying attention to where Steph is. The more he moves, the more he shifts around the incredible attention of all five defenders. And when guys make one misstep, or you have two defenders make one misstep to carry their way to where Steph Curry is, it opens up easier opportunities on any possession. That's what we're talking about when we speak on Steph's gravity. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Utah Jazz last season was elite at both ends of the floor. Sixth Man of the Year winner Jordan Clarkson says, three things we've been doing well are playing fast, sharing the basketball, and defense. We're playing a fun style of basketball and just keep racking up the wins. Guys? They are fun to watch, and a handful. D.A. thanks. Six to shoot. Here's Green. From deep. Curry can't get it to go. It's Gobert with the ball for the Jazz. Four-point game. After this one, they're off to San Antonio to take on the Spurs. I love Bogdanovich's ability to put the team first. When he sees one of his guys open, he's a willing ball mover. Here's Curry. He's got 23. From deep three-point range. Again, Curry missing. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. We witnessed him delivering a series of three-pointers as he knocked... And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter, what is still anybody's ballgame. Utah trailing here. And now we've got the intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Warriors of the division. Play Thompson. Now Clarkson to take the lead. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Outside Curry. Over Gobert. Here's Weissman. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Assist from. And that's 13 points for James Weissman. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Warriors. Their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. A significant difference here has been the number of points off turnovers that they've got. That's a stomach punch, guys. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. Execution with pace. That's a bad turnover that simply was telegraphed. And it's Wiseman in the corner. That shot missing. Yeah, that miss might stick with him for a little while. That's kind of a shoot-around jumper if I've ever seen one. Clarkson for three. Warriors leading by three. As to Wiseman. Here's Curry. Good D by Mitchell. So it's the chance now. Deep two from Clarkson. That one a little long. Curry looking it over. Wiseman with the ball. And again, it's the Warriors missing. 
Here's Clarkson. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And the strength of Clarkson on display. Awesome job fending off the defense and not letting that deter him from scoring. On the win, Thompson. Shoots over Clarkson, and they recover it. And here is Curry. Thompson inside the line. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebound. Oh, yeah. And this is the time in the game when you want to go to your stars. Mitchell delivering. Curry with it. Now defended by Gobert. And Stephen Curry gets the three. Four three. Curry's got 12 points here in the second half. The Jazz with the what ball. work from Steph Curry gets open and makes it look easy. Wow. Utah calls timeout. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. The defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three-pointer he takes right now. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, well, during the last break, I heard Quinn Snyder talking with his team. He knows this has been a hard-fought game, and he wanted his guys to just sit down and catch their breath. He said, look, we're right in the game, guys. Let's make a little push here. Let's come out with some bite. Kevin? Utah, the Warriors trailing. On the line. Kept alive. Tries again. At the line for the and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. Kevon Looney always willing and able to do whatever it takes to help the superstar talent around him get the job. 